The Venetian Republic, The Winged Lion, Saint Mark. Three characters whose destinies at a certain point meet and intertwine, so much so that often one represents the other. Why is the Evangelist represented by this animal and why is he the patron saint of Venice? What is their link? The legends are many, but the oldest tells that Mark, who escaped a shipwreck while sailing to Alexandria, found refuge in one of the islets of the lagoon that formed the fishing community of Rialto. One night in a dream, an angel, which iconography is associated with the winged lion, appeared to him to announce his burial in Venice by saying, Pax tibi marce evangelista meus, hic requiescep corpus tuum. That means, peace to you, Mark, my evangelist, here your body will rest. Continuing his journey, finally arrived in Egypt, he met death probably on April 25th of the year 72 AD, at the age of 57, during his work on conversion and constitution of a Christian community, and buried first in a cave in the town of Bucoli, and later from 310 in a church at the Canopus of Alexandria. The legend allowed the Venetians from the Don to arrogate the title of people elected by the saint. For centuries, they had longed to get their hands on his relics, although in the meantime the patron saint was Saint Theodore, popularly known as Todaro, a saint of clear Byzantine inspiration. The opportunity presented itself in 828, when the city of Alexandria was under Islamic occupation. At that time, all Christian buildings were in danger because they were subjected to iconoclasm, that means destruction or depredation. Two Venetian merchants, Buono da Malamocco and Rustico da Torcello, landed in the city thanks to a providential wind and managed to convince the custodians to give them the relic relying on the danger of holding it in town and the opportunity that was presented to them to bring it to safety. The most compelling and imaginative part, however, was yet to come. It seems that, to escape the control of the Arabs, the bones of the scent were placed in a basket and covered with pork, of which Muslims, by precept, are notoriously averse. At the moment of inspecting the goods that the two were loading on board, invited to open the basket and see what was inside, the disgust of the guards was such that they were asked to disappear from their sight. This was followed by a rather romanticized trip to Venice and are highlighted by miraculous events, all accomplished thanks to the presence of the saint. But who was Mark? We know him by his Roman name, that means protected by the god Mars, but his Hebrew name was John. He is mentioned in the New Testament because his mother was one of the first followers of Christ and that because in his house was hosted St. Peter when released from prison. Maybe for the same reason she is one of those Marys that are mentioned in the Gospels that followed Jesus to Calvary and that after hosted at their homes the exiles who tried to hide from the persecutions of the Romans. The Gospels narrate that the room where the Last Supper was celebrated, as well as the Garden of Olives where Christ retired to pray, was a farm owned by the family. That evening, Mark, who was very young at the time, chose to follow Christ and the Apostles, only to fall asleep in a shed in the back. Awakened by the hustle and bustle of the Roman soldiers who were breaking in to arrest Jesus, he became the witness, but not only. One of the guards, mistaking him for a spy, tried to capture him, 
but in his hands remained only the cloth with which he was covered, giving him the opportunity to escape completely naked. His provenance from this Levitical wealthy family allowed him to learn to read and write, and this is the reason why, as he learned more from Peter, he was able to become one of the biographers of Jesus. The church we see today in Venice, built as a Dogal chapel after the one dedicated to St. Theodore, has experienced several vicissitudes. It was initially raised in the same year in which the remains arrived in Venice, but then immediately replaced and burned following the revolt against the doge Pietro Candiano IV in 976, when the Venetians, to get rid of him, started a fire in the doge's palace, which also involved the basilica. During the reconstruction, the relics of the saint were hidden so well that they were lost until June 25th of 1094, when the new one was completed and a miracle occurred. One of the columns of the nave broke and showed its interior where the body was kept. April 25th is therefore for the Venetians a doubly heartfelt celebration, both for the liberation from Nazi fascism, but even more anciently for the celebration of a patron so loved that he himself was a symbol of the Republic. This union was represented by the flag and the various interpretations that the Venetians gave over the centuries, but always keeping constants that carry with them various meanings. The wings, symbol of spiritual elevation, the halo on the head of holiness, and the book of culture and peace. Sometimes the sword, a symbol of justice, was also represented. Starting from the 15th century, the lion was also represented with its front legs on the mainland and the hind legs on the water to emphasize the protection of all the territories of the Republic and the control that it exercised there. Thank you for watching. See you on the next videos.